students now we do 5d sum an object thrown vertically upwards reaches a height of 500 meter what was its initial velocity how long will the object take to come back to earth assume acceleration due to gravity g is equal to 10 meter per second square so students what do we do first yes we first find out given for upward motion of the object final velocity v is always zero acceleration due to gravity is negative therefore a is equal to minus g is equal to minus 10 meter per second square height s is equal to 500 meter you can see students i have divided the sum into two parts because there have been two questions asked to find out initial velocity u what is the formula v square is equal to u square plus 2 a s that is the third equation of motion why are we using this students because we do not know the time taken calculations from formula substitute the values in the given in the formula v square is equal to u square plus 2 a s so 0 the whole square is equal to u square plus 2 into minus 10 into 500 gives you 0 is equal to u square into minus 20 into 500 0 is equal to u square minus 10,000 therefore u square becomes 10,000 so u taking square root gives you 100 meter per second answer statement the initial velocity of the object when thrown vertically upwards is 100 meter per second now we move to part 2 of the same sum again we write the given students the second question please read carefully how long will the object take to come back to earth so in the first case the object was thrown vertically upwards now the object is coming downwards so the given will change with respect to acceleration due to gravity for downward motion of the object initial velocity u will always be zero acceleration due to gravity is positive a is equal to g is equal to 10 meter per second square height s remains same it will be 500 meter to find out we have to write time taken as the question is how long will the object take to come formula s is equal to ut plus half a t square this is the second equation of motion used calculations from the formula 500 is equal to 0 into t plus half into 10 into t square which gives 500 is equal to 0 into 5 t square which is 500 equal to 5 t square students please see 500 0 into, two become, 0 into t becomes 0 plus half into t into t square. So 10 divided by 2 gives you 5, 5 t square. Therefore 500 is equal to 5 t square. 500 divided by 5 t square, this becomes 100. So t square is equal to 100. So what will be t? Square root of 100, 10 seconds now what is remaining answer statement the object will take 10 seconds to come back to the earth so students please remember the difference when the object is thrown upwards the gravity value will be minus g but when it is coming downwards 
the value of acceleration due to gravity g will be plus now we move to the next sum 5e a ball falls off a table and reaches the ground in 1 second assuming g is equal to 10 meter per second squared calculate its speed on reaching the ground and the height of the table so we start with given for downward motion of the object initial velocity u is equal to 0 acceleration due to gravity is positive a is equal to g is equal to 10 meter per second square time t is equal to 1 second so what we have to find out students we have to find out its speed on reaching the ground in other words to find final velocity v also we have to find the height of the table so height of table s so since two quantities have to be found out we will require two formulae the first one being v is equal to u plus a t which is first equation of motion and the second one v square is equal to u square plus 2 a s third equation of motion we will do part by part calculations from formula first one v is equal to 0 plus 10 into 1 that is v is equal to 10 meter per second so the final velocity is 10 meter per second now we go to solve s 10 square is equal to 0 square plus 2 into 10 into s giving you 100 equal to 0 plus 20 s therefore 100 is equal to 20 s so 100 divided by 20 is equal to s which is 5 meters so we got both the answers we just have to write the statement the final velocity that is speed of the ball on reaching the ground is 10 meter per second and the height of the table is 5 meters we move to the next sum 5f the masses of the earth and moon are 6 into 10 raised to 24 kg and 7.4 into 10 raised to 22 kg respectively the distance between them is 3.84 into 10 raised to 5 km calculate the gravitational force of attraction between the two you will be using the value of g as 6.7 into 10 raised to minus 11 newton meter square per kg square so students you must have already guessed what are we using now correct the universal law of gravitation formula first we start with given mass of the earth me is equal to 6 into 10 raised to 24 kg mass of the moon mm is equal to 7.4 into 10 raised to 22 kg distance between moon and earth is equal to r is equal to 3.84 into 10 raised to 5 kilometer since it is in kilometer we will convert into meter by multiplying it with 10 raised to 3 so we get 3.84 10 raised to 5 into 10 raised to 3 gives us 10 raised to 8 so 3.84 into 10 raised to 8 meter g the universal constant is 6.7 into 10 raised to minus 11 newton meter square per kg square now to find out gravitational force f formula used f is equal to g into m e into m m upon r square calculations from formula substitute the values we will be going slow over here because there are many values with decimal and negative power students. So first we have written the value of g 6.7 into 10 raised to minus 11. Then value of mass of earth 6 into 10 raised to 24. And then value of mass of moon 7.4 into 10 raised to 22. And then we have the distance 3.84 into 10 raised to 8 the whole square. Now generally in sums we do away with the decimal points and the negative powers are taken in the denominator if they are in the numerator 
So we have all positive powers. Coming to the next step, we have 67 into 6 into 10 raised to 24 into 74 into 10 raised to 22 into 10 raised to 2 into 10 raised to 2 upon the decimal point removed even in the denominator 384 into 384. 10 raised to 8 the whole square becomes 10 raised to 16 and 3 decimal points have been removed 6.7. 7.4 so you can see 2 tens and the power of 10 raised to minus 11 has been converted into 10 raised to 11 by taking it in the denominator. Now we do the cancellation with the whole numbers. 6 cancels 384 gives you 1 upon 64. We further see that 67 into 37 how did you get it? You had 64 2 32 is a 64. 2 37s are 74 and then we have 10 raised to 50 by adding all the powers in the numerator similarly 10 raised to 29 by adding all the powers in the denominator the next step is we subtract the powers of 10 50 minus 29 and then we multiply these two numbers and get the values so you get 2 4 7 9 into 10 raised to 21 upon 1 2 2 double 8 Instead of 10 raised to 21, we convert into 10 raised to 20 and put a 0 along with this value. So you can see we have 24,790 into 10 raised to 20 divided by 12,288. 12,000 and 24,000, so you can guess the value will be approximately 2. So F is equal to 2 into 10 raised to 20 Newton. Answer statement, the gravitational force between the earth and the moon is 2 into 10 raised to 20 newtons.